Hello, I'm Kim Christopher, Program Director for Slimgenics. Today I have the honor of speaking with world-renowned nutritionist and pharmacognosist, Dr. Dennis Jones. Thanks for being with us, Dr. Jones. It's a pleasure. Dr. Jones, we see many people who are basically addicted to sweets and carbs and as a result have gained weight and may now be at risk for diabetes. Reducing these cravings for empty calorie foods assists our clients in staying on track with a healthy eating plan. Can you tell me how carb blockers work at reducing cravings and blocking calories and why they're so safe to use? Yeah, the carb blockers really approach the problem from a couple of different points. Uh, the main action of the carb blockers is in fact to inhibit the enzyme that we have in our small intestine, alpha amylase, which breaks starch down. And if the starch does not get broken down, then the sugars that it is composed of cannot be absorbed. So in other words, the starch then passes through to the large intestine where most of it is treated as if it were a dietary fiber. Uh, and that, of course, has some benefits. In addition to that, there is a herb in the carb blockers which will also prevent the breakdown of some simple sugars and therefore uh, actually assists the main component which breaks the starch down into disaccharides by preventing the breakdown of most of those disaccharides further. And it's only simple sugars that can be absorbed. So again, we don't have any absorption of these sugars. If the carb blockers are taken at the right time before a meal so that they're present in the small intestine just before the food enters, then you will get a good result for it. But the interesting thing about the carb blockers is the, the use of a, another herb called gymnema, which even when absorbed through the stomach and small intestine, will actually get to the taste buds in the tongue and reduce the ability to sense sweet things. So it reduces the sensation of sweetness. And I think that this is probably one of the best trainings that the human can get in changing their eating behavior. If all of a sudden that donut or that piece of iced cake doesn't taste so sweet anymore, then they may start asking themselves subconsciously, do I really need this? So whereas the main components will help them prevent absorbing calories from the carbohydrate, uh, the gymnema will actually help them retrain themselves in terms of eating behavior, and that should give them a lasting effect. Carbohydrate craving is a, a big problem. Yeah, it's definitely a problem with many of our clients, and I can say that for sure we're seeing a reduced calorie intake with the carb blockers, so that's going to help with a faster, easier weight loss. Fewer cravings for those foods make it easier to stick to their food plan, but then also, as you said, long-term behavior modification so that long-term they maintain that weight loss. Yes. We don't know exactly where, how carbohydrate cravings arise, but there are parts of the brain which are involved and which basically can override the, the other parts of the brain, which include the, the center that people use for willpower. So carbohydrate cravings can be very strong and can actually cause a lot of different reactions to occur in the brain. And hopefully with the, with the carb blockers, this is going to reduce that problem. Yes, carb blockers certainly will assist in a faster, easier weight loss, fewer cravings, long-term results. Exactly. Thank you, Dr. Jones. Thank you.